Hey folks, what's going on? I'm Ant Pruitt. I hope you're doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. Today's video is going to be a little brief video and it's going to be slightly different from previous videos. Okay, hopefully that's okay. Uh, if you don't know anything about me, I am a digital content creator that loves to write, loves to shoot video, loves to shoot photographs and edit and share all of my tips and tricks with people that are trying to begin and get started with the world of digital content creation. So if you like this type of content, consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Recently, I was delivered a Loop Deck Plus console. If you've never heard of Loop Deck, um, I got their original product last year for a review. I'll put a card to that review video somewhere up here on the screen and you can check it out. But essentially it's a little console that's about the size of a keyboard that allows you to edit a little bit faster inside of Adobe Lightroom. And this is it right here. I already have it plugged up. So let me see if I can put it in front of the camera. There you go. So you see it's about the size of a keyboard. And instead of using a mouse to go through all of the sliders on the screen, you get to use these little knobs and, and wheels and stuff. So you get a little bit more of an analog feel so you can have a little more control when it comes to editing your images. Now, before they delivered this to me, they emailed me to say, hey, you know what? Not only are we putting out this, this new piece of hardware, the updated version of the hardware, we're also updating the software that comes along with it. So in addition to running Adobe Lightroom with this thing, you can run Capture One, you can run Aurora HDR. Um, I think Capture One is beta though, but today they announced that you can also run Adobe Premiere Pro with the Loop Deck. Now that excites me a little bit. If you've seen my previous video about speeding up your editing workflow inside of Premiere Pro. I'll put another card to that somewhere on the screen. But I talked about using shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts to get through your editing flow instead of using the mouse. Having something like Loop Deck that has all of the controls built in where you can go in and adjust uh, your different color grading options and whatnot with the Lumetri panel, I could see that being pretty useful. But I also want to be able to shuttle back and forth through my different files and footage and whatnot and see again if I can just step away from using the mouse and you know try to rely more on this keyboard. With this video, I'm just going to do a quick first look. This is brand spanking new to me, so I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm actually going to grab the user's guide and try to glance through that real quick because I'm, I'm not even sure where to start. So. Let's go ahead and uh, jump to the Loop Deck website, fire up Premiere Pro, and go from there. Okay, so we're now, all right, so now we're on the Loop Deck website. This is the blog post talking about them being integrated with Premiere Pro. Scroll through, see if I can find a, a setup page or something like that. Yep, right here. Let's check that out. Is there a user guide? Um, let's see, I already have the software installed, so I don't have to worry about that boom there's a user's guide so let's check that out and then I'll go ahead and open up the Loop Deck Plus software we're just going to make sure that it's yep it does have Premiere Pro here looks like these are used for something as far as color grading so that's good so I'll just hit done on that and we'll glance through this yeah how to customize my settings I don't really want to customize anything right now I want to be able to just fire this up and see if I can just go so it looks like it has some of my shortcuts for editing already built in um, I use the pen tool inside of uh, Premiere Pro it's trimming okay in and out points all right so that looks pretty good. Now what about just going back and forth on with the playhead? So that looks like I can use these arrows here. Okay, so let's minimize this and we'll jump into this project. Uh, this is just a recent project. Um, I've already shared this video actually. Now the funny thing is right now my thumb 
I just slapped it on my desk thinking my space bar is right there. It's not right there. There's no space bar on the loop deck. So how am I going to play on this thing? Um, yeah, that's really not listed there. Is there a play showing? Da, 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 da. Go to previous. Hmm. Well, I don't see that. So I will just minimize and just make the most of this as best I can. They did say these arrow keys are supposed to let me shuttle through. So far, that's not working. Hmm. Um, am I in the right mode? Looks like I'm in the right mode. Hit custom mode. That did nothing. What if I did it with the mouse and then try to use the arrows? That's not doing anything. Fascinating. Do I at least get the in and out points working? That's out. Nope. That's in. Nope. Okay, so I clearly need to spend some more time with this in the software. Um, more like spend more time with the user's guide. Stay tuned. I will spend, you know, a couple of days with this thing and put it through its paces and give it a proper review. I wrote about it over on Tech Republic. That should be published any time now within the next... I don't know, two hours or so, hopefully sooner than that. But um, yeah, check that out over on techrepublic.com. But in the meantime, go ahead and check out some of the other videos here on the channel. Uh, again, this is more about uh, people that are trying to be introduced to the world of digital content creation. And hopefully I have some tips and tricks and ideas that may help lead you along the way. If you like this video, click the like button and share it along. And if you have any comments, feel free to leave those comments below. I do try to answer all of my comments as best I can, and hopefully I can help you out. But until then, I'm going to go ahead and sign off and pick up this here user's guide and see if I can get my learn on with this Loop Debt Plus. I appreciate Loop Debt sending this over to me to review, and um, I'll get back with you guys pretty soon. Y'all take care. We'll see you.